Yo, 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 what is up everyone? Hope you're all having a fantastic day and we just got a massive info dump about season three for Halo Infinite. So during one of the community streams, 343 decided to just drop a ton of info about what's to come and what we can pretty much expect. So there's so much good stuff coming. We're just gonna break that all down here. So let's start off with the new Forge features that are gonna be arriving in season three and beyond that as well. So if you've been playing Forge, there's really no way to have water. Uh, you can make like your own fake water, but throughout the entire lifespan of Forge, we've never had any placeable water or anything like that. So they do kind of fill us in on that. And pretty much just let us know that it's going to be coming in season four and i think they tried to bring it into season three but um yeah it's going to come in like season four i've seen a lot of object material and canvas requests mm. heard those loud and clear um in particular the water object people yeah. want to put water in yeah. our maps and so that's something that'll be coming um i think in season four okay. it didn't come in in time for season three we will also be getting scalable effects so the fire effects you know the plasma effects the sparks the steam all that kind of stuff currently aren't scalable where you can like scale them up make them bigger or smaller so that is something they're actually looking into as well and will possibly come in season four and of course i think the most requested thing which i myself also am looking the most forward to is ai imagine like being able to create your like own custom campaigns and stuff just controlling how many grunts spawn brutes and everything you can even make your own firefight levels like there's so much potential that you could do with that and they're still continuing to look into that so in season three we will actually be getting some new forerunner objects it seems like um, there's already a lot of forerunner objects that we currently have but these are just additional forerunner objects to complete their forerunner kind of stuff is what they're they pretty much just said so another small thing is prefabs are now getting the screenshot thumbnail things where you can put your own picture currently that's not available right now or it doesn't work so just like the maps where you could show your own picture now you're going to be able to do that with the prefabs i believe and so another huge thing about forge is people were asking about advanced camera controls and i think what people mean by that is being able to like set the camera for certain players in like a certain way like a bird's eye view or like imagine if you're trying to make like a 2d level stuff like that would be absolutely crazy or like the third person mode too i think that would be possible so it seems like we probably are going to be getting that in the future and that kind of stuff is also exciting so a lot of people have been wondering where the heck are the matchmaking forge playlists like why aren't, why aren't we getting maps or like community made maps into matchmaking which i think is definitely something that should have been their day one or at least closer to day one just like how they dropped the custom browser a bit earlier and they pretty much just have to go through like a quality check and he pretty much just broke it down and so i'm just gonna quickly summarize basically what he said is that the layout has to be fair you know the spawns have to be good so people can't like be spawn camped easily of course the sandbox has to be balanced and all that kind of stuff you know unfair spots like being able to get something stuck somewhere like a flag or like an oddball or just getting into some cheap spot where no one can get you and of course like optimization so like the map doesn't like lag your game and stuff like that so just like all that kind of stuff it basically has to meet like a certain standard um, and they're working on some kind of like document that they will give to, uh, you know, the creators who want to get their maps into uh, matchmaking, kind of giving them a little checklist of what they, you know, could do better or something so that they could eventually get their maps into uh, matchmaking and all that. Uh, pretty cool. Um, it's unfortunate that there has to be, I mean, it makes sense. You know, there's got to be, they got to be good quality maps, but I feel like I wish they could just like say like these are experimental or something just have like an experimental playlist and just literally have a like a notification thing these are community made and there may be issues something like that you know warning kind of thing i think that's the route they should have taken but i don't know it is what it is so another pretty big thing is that dev maps you can now forge on you can now edit them there's stuff there's some objects that are permanent i believe so you can't delete everything on the map but uh yeah now you could check out like those cool little nukes and crannies uh, that they blocked off and so i think that's pretty neat and i think another big feature is that they are going to be adding an option to turn off player outlines that is really huge because for nighttime maps it pretty much made those maps essentially useless because you would just see people's outlines and it just ruined the whole atmosphere um so i'm glad they're definitely going to be adding this into i believe season three and the last thing i want to talk about for the forge kind of stuff is well this is more of a map so the map plaza from halo 5 is going to be making its return to infinite i'm not entirely sure if this is going to be dev made or just like in-house forge just like empyrean or whatever the heck it's called it might be like empyrean i don't know it's kind of hard to really tell i'm i'm gonna assume i'm gonna assume that's gonna be a forge remake but yeah that's gonna be really cool to see plaza is a really good map in halo 5 it was definitely probably like my second favorite my favorite map in halo 5 
five was i would say the rig a lot of people didn't like that one but i really loved the rig okay now let's get into the juicy parts which is all the stuff that we actually know is in season three so they also revealed the new menu for season three it seems like they're actually changing some of the ui a bit at least for the menu anyways and that is awesome because i do think we should have themed menus after like seasons and stuff and events as well that'd be cool so yeah we got the new menu here the watchdog armor coating is also getting an update to its appropriate version that they uh, showed off before infinite even released and this is an armor coating that you can only get by reaching max rank in halo 5 which is really quite a grind i did it myself and so yeah i was quite disappointed that we didn't exactly get the right armor coating we got like a super dull version instead of the shiny one that they showed off so they're finally fixing that and we're getting that shiny one that they showed off which is now called watchdog neo but not only that but we also get to keep the old one which is that dull looking one so that's really good so we also got the new cores revealed one of them was kind of hidden away and you just had to really look for it and that is the chimera core i don't know if you pronounce it that way and that is the new fracture core it seems like and a lot of people are saying it looks like the crisis uh, like the biotech suit or stuff like that and we also got the spy core which is otherwise known as the mirage armor core there's like a lot of lore to this armor um i'm gonna be honest i don't really know much about it i do have the book ghost of onyx but i just never read it um and i honestly had no idea people were really into this uh armor but i think it's pretty cool seeing uh things that come from books to the game because i think the halo universe has like a lot of cool things they can add to the games that we unfortunately like it never really happens so i also want to add on that they said that all the cores will be free from now on so it doesn't seem like you're gonna have to grind event passes or anything just to unlock a core now uh, you'll just have it instantly unlocked with a few base armor coating colors so we also got a look at the new bandit weapon otherwise known as the dmr and we got a look at some of its coatings which look pretty sweet and we also got a look at the new equipment, which is called the Shroud Screen. I made videos on a lot of this stuff that they showcased uh, that was actually leaked. So if you want to see more in depth about like the new equipment and stuff like that, definitely check out my other videos. But yeah, we basically just got official gameplay of it. We can see like the actual UI icon and see how it looks and stuff. Um, it's a pretty cool equipment. Uh, we've never had smoke or anything like that in Halo before. So I think it's a nice, interesting twist. So that about wraps up everything that we know about season three that they shared. It's quite a lot and I'm actually quite excited. I think 2023 might be the year um, Infinite finally actually thrives unfortunate that's taken this long and you know some could argue it's a bit too late now but um because i do think it is a little too late for this kind of stuff but you know hey it improves the game it's whatever i'm definitely going to continue playing it because currently i've been kind of just like not really into it but with this season three stuff i am getting a bit excited to see uh what happens in 2023 with that being said consider subscribing and liking the video as it shows your support and i'll see you guys on the next one peace